Welcome to Ruwaq. Ruwaq was established in 1991 with the purpose of protecting cultural heritage in Palestine. We're based in Ramallah, but our work covers the West Bank with a special emphasis on rural areas. This small presentation will walk you through our goals, our programs, and our future plans. Our main philosophy is that protection of cultural heritage for the sake of protection is neither feasible nor sustainable. Our objective is to re-establish the relationship between heritage and socio-economic and cultural activities to make people see and feel the potentials of investing in heritage. In Palestine, heritage can and should be a main component of a better future, a future that respects, celebrates, and builds on the past. Our programs are multidisciplinary. We work along different but parallel paths. Our work started with the biggest project yet, the National Registry of All Historic Buildings in the West Bank, Gaza, and East Jerusalem. Hundreds of students worked with us to register the 50,320 buildings and 422 sites in Palestine over a period of 10 years. The gathered information can be seen in a three-volume publication or online on ruwaqregister.org. Another pillar in Ruwaq's work is the Single Building Rehabilitation Project. This has resulted so far in more than 100 renovated public buildings and has managed to show the 100 or so communities that such buildings can become alive again, hosting all kinds of services and activities. Renovated buildings have become attraction points for local community members and visitors alike. Many cultural activities such as the PAL Fest and the Sounding Jerusalem Festival has used these buildings as venues bringing new cultural experiences to many remote locations and contributing to a new mental image of Palestine. This has also contributed to putting many villages and towns, such as Ras Karkar, Beit Wazan, and Zahriye, on the map of alternative tourism, creating potential economic gains to those places. In addition to gaining a venue for activities and services, spending around five million US dollars on restoration has resulted in the generation of around 170,000 working days for unemployed workers and has trained hundreds of these workers on new building skills and helped revive traditional crafts that were almost lost. Working on single buildings made us realize that we need to intervene on a larger scale, the scale of historic centers as a whole. This means the preventive conservation of entire blocks of buildings and public spaces, the rehabilitation of street infrastructure, the planting of trees, the development of protection plans and strategic documents with the community. From experience, each site has its own problems and potentials. Some historic centers can be developed for tourism, while others are needed by the community for housing. But in all cases, these centers can be the hubs for social, cultural, and economic activities. And this is what we want to see. Of course, this work is not possible without the real and direct involvement of the community. Our programs target different sectors and operate on both the national and local levels. 100,000 school children participated in our annual drawing competition. 50 teachers participated in our 2009 training for extracurricular activities. Every year, we train more than 10 architects and students on conservation techniques. And last year alone, we planted around 500 trees in historic centers. In 2005, we started the Ruwaq Biennale. With three editions so far, the Biennale has become a biannual opportunity for interaction. It provides a venue for exchange between international experts, practitioners, and interested individuals with the local community in the different locations of our work. Over the years, we have published 11 books on Palestinian cultural heritage.
جيل بيت وزن جلجليه عين سينيا جبع قور راس كركر خان يونس Those are the names of the 50 historic centers we have prioritized for our work in the coming 10 years. From the past 20 years of experience, as you have seen, we have been racing to protect our heritage, racing to put this heritage on the national map, and striving to connect this work to our national priorities. The idea of the 50 came from the fact that these 50 centers comprise 50% of our architectural heritage in rural Palestine. The idea of this project is actually quite simple. We have 50 almost abandoned historic centers made up from 20,000 historic buildings and are home to the poorest segments of the community. At a time when we as Palestinians need housing, need services, need spaces for social and cultural interactions and are in a very dire economic need. Those 20,000 buildings and surrounding spaces can solve many of the problems we suffer from. By regenerating these centers, we can provide at least 10,000 housing units, create tens of thousands of working days, rehabilitate spaces that are environmentally and child-friendly, provide spaces for economic activity, and create an alternative tourism map of Palestine, a map that celebrates people and their way of life. This project is about the best use of resources and the safeguarding of our environment, why build new residential quarters and facilities when at no cost to the environment one can use already existing spaces built in a very socially friendly manner? Why build playgrounds at the far edge of town when one can save transportation costs and create playgrounds in spaces that are safe for children? Why leave such areas abandoned, attracting criminal activities, while at minimal cost we can make them incubators for socio-economic and cultural development? Heritage in Palestine is not only ours is the heritage of the entire humanity. But we are its keepers. It's not and should not be a static piece in a museum. It can be a lever that lifts us into the future. We truly believe in the potentials of this heritage and we want you to be on our side. Thank you.